Can you maybe expand a little bit more about this lake house architecture that, that your company references? Yes, the lake house uh, architecture is, is kind of the future. So what you see now a lot of times is, actually let's re rewind back um, a little bit and talk about the history. So data warehouses, they've been around for like about 40 years or so. They, mm -hmm. they've, they're really great at what they do, but the past 10 years, you know, we're starting to get more unstructured data, all types of, you know, we're starting to do data science. It's not analytics anymore. It's not structured data anymore. And the value is really through those data science types of use cases. Think about clickstream use cases, IOT, um, you know, fraud detection, all those things. They, that requires, you know, lots of volume, sometimes unstructured data and data warehouses aren't really good at those modern types of use cases. So if if you've, a lot of people have heard, you know, the term digital transformation, mm -hmm. a lot of enterprises and companies, they started to go from data warehouses to data lakes. But the problem there is, you know, data lakes are really just files um, behind the scenes. And so you don't get those good benefits and qualities of a data warehouse anymore. You don't get that schema re uh, enforcement, uh, acid transactions. And so we're at this point where, you know, we have two systems now. A lot of enterprises, they have a data warehouse and a data lake. Okay. Sometimes, right? Uh, and then the data warehouse will support the BI use cases. And then the data lake will support the machine learning data science use cases. Sometimes that data is the same data and they have multiple copies of it. It's just very inefficient. Um, your data might not be the freshest data. And so the ideal situation would be if you can take the best of both worlds, mm -hmm. take the best of a data lake, the best of a data warehouse. And so what you get is a, is a lake house. That's great. I love it. <laughs> I love it.